this is Umar Ahmed for AFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm privileged to say, uh, I think we spoke last week during Os Joshua Usyk fight week. I'm joined again by the pound for pound king in many people's opinions ever, Mr. Roy Jones Jr. How's your man looking, Chris Eubank Jr.? He's looking really good, man. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Uh, I love the, the look. I love the condition. I love the way he looked in sparring. Uh, looking really good. Does the opponent change, differ anything for Chris Eubank, or are you going with the same mentality? I think it changed a little bit for his mentality, but still pretty much it's the same. Just now it may be spread out a little longer than it was in the beginning. Mm. I mean, if you're going to be a top-class fighter and want to be in that elite bracket, opponent changes is something you have to deal with. You got, you're the king of the hill. Whatever comes up the hill, you got to deal with it. Mm. Have you looked much at, at this opponent, more? Yeah, he's not a bad guy. He's a pretty good fighter. I like what I see. He's a one of the Kazakh guys that... That knows how to box. You know, he's not a, he's not a, he's not a chump by no means. He knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, he has a lot of good things about him. But, you know, we'll figure him out and we'll go from there. He's actually higher rated than the original opponent. Uh, of isn't course, it? he ranks seven instead of fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Roy, just obviously want to get your reflections on the weekend. Um, a lot of people are now doubting Anthony going into this rematch with Alexander. What are your thoughts? They can't doubt him. He want he dominated around four through seven. He showed that he can dominate the fight at any time. It's just a matter of him deciding when he wants to dominate the fight. You believe he won 4-7, to seven, Anthony? I yeah? think he did, yes. How, how did you score it, Roy? I didn't really score it, but I know, you, I know you, you lost the first three rounds, then he came back and won the next three because they asked me afterwards. I was like, wow, I got an even fight going into round seven. Mm. So round seven, it was even. Mm. You did say to me when we spoke last week that the size isn't going to be a problem. Uh, it's not. It. It's not. He dominated round four through seven. So, that's, I mean... Use it, and he uses size to do so. You understand me? Mm. So size is not an issue. Mm. What did you think about Usyk's strength? We saw sometimes in the clinch, Usyk was actually pushing Joshua off. Usyk is not a bad guy. Usyk is a very intelligent boxer. And Usyk is a little stronger than they give him credit for. Mm. Usyk hurt Joshua in the second round because Joshua let him get too close. So Usyk can, in 10 out club, anybody can hurt anybody. Mm. It's just a, it's just a, fact, uh, a fact that Usyk is not a... Uh, top 10 puncher as a heavyweight and neither is Fury but Fury is the number one heavyweight in the world right now so you don't have to be a top 10 puncher Roy after this Saturday can you just give me your top 5 heavyweights in order please after this Saturday it's hard to say but you gotta have I ain't gonna put in the order, order, order but right now you got you got Fury Usyk uh, Wilder um, AJ and probably probably White okay Okay. Has your opinion changed about Fury Joshua after this Saturday if that fight was to be made? How it goes? No, because, like I say, it's not because of them. They're good. Both of them are intelligent fighters. What I'm trying to say is people take what I say the wrong way sometimes. I'm trying to say that stylistically, that's not a good matchup for TV. That's the best two boxers in the game. Mm. But neither one of them are known as knockout punchers. And if it's the best two boxers, you know how hard it is for a knockout puncher to knock out a boxer? It's hard. So if a knockout puncher can't knock him out, how in the hell a boxer, another boxer without a knockout puncher gonna knock him out? You understand me? So that's not a good fight for TV. Mm. Let's let them, two guys, clean up the division. Let's let one clean up the east and one clean up the west. And once they do that, then we'll bring the two best together and we'll see it. Mm. Because we have no other choice at that point. Mm. But let's give it some, there's too many good heavyweights out there right now. Dylan White versus either one of them is a great fight. Josh against either one of them is a great fight. Wilder against either one of them is a great fight. AJ against either one of them is a great fight. Every other heavyweight out there, Usyk is a great fight for him. Every, every top 10 heavyweight with a punch. Or that's, that we know, that we respect as a real guy. Fred, Joseph Parker, all those guys. Usyk is, Usyk is a good fight for him. And uh, 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 Fury is a good fight for him. But Usyk, Usyk and Fury are not a good fight for each other. That's all I'm saying. It's not that I'm saying that they they, they great fighters. Just the style right now with, with their styles, it's gonna be a chess match with no home run. Do you think it wouldn't be actually great for boxing if Fury and Usyk fought each other? No, I don't think it would be because the heavyweight division is producing explosives right now. Let's keep the explosives going while they're going. No, don't don't fizzle it out. If we do that, we might fizzle out the explosive factor. Mm. Now, or now, we want to fizzle out for one fight just to find out who's the best. Okay, cool. But in history tells us that a good big man beats a good little man. 
So we ain't trying to challenge that theory right now for what? When we got these other fights that we can look at. Once we get through with these other fights, then let's 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 see can it change history again. What would your advice be to Anthony Joshua going into that rematch? <laughs> Squad to start the fight earlier. Were you disappointed with his tactics? Yes. Yes. Mm. I was because I wanted to see Usyk have to figure him out. I want to see Usyk deal with that early, early onslaught and see Usyk's mind go to work late in the fight. Instead, y'all let Usyk's mind go to work right away. We already knew Usyk could think like that. If y'all gonna let him do that, of course he's gonna win. So after round one, you can crown Usyk the winner because y'all let him fight his fight. Mm. Of course he's gonna win this. At least give him something to figure out. Mm. But they didn't give him nothing to figure out. I don't know whether you watched it back on television, neither have I, but a lot of people who told me who, who did watch it on television, there was a lot of voices in Anthony's corner and that it was sending perhaps mixed messages to Anthony. What do you think about that? Well, none of that really mattered because no matter what the voices were saying, the game plan from round one was wrong. So it don't matter what they said after round one. Round one was wrong. Whoever didn't tell him how to do round one messed up the whole fight for him because after, the, after, the, after round one, Y'all can tell what y'all want, but round one, he's already a little bit shook up now because he didn't go in like he expected. Then round two, he got hurt. So round three, he got to recover. Now round four, he finally can capture what some of y'all are saying, and he may be able to implement some of it, and he won round four, five, and six. Mm. So all those voices, yeah, it's probably a headache too, but even with those voices, they didn't tell the right thing before the fight started. No, but somebody didn't reach him before the fight started because where he lost the fight at was the pre-fight. Roy, listen, best of luck this Saturday night with your man Chris Eubank Jr. live on Sky Sports. Is there anything you'd like to say before we close off? Anything to the fans? I just love boxing. I love boxing. I love boxing. So, I, like I said, people say, who you want to win? I like both guys. I like both guys. Just that being over here, you see the guy got 67,000 people in the arena. You kind of hope it go well for him, but I like both guys. I, I, I've been watching Usyk for so long. I, I like I, this. This is why I knew Usyk was gonna win the fight. Usyk is intelligent enough to outthink anybody. I watched him outthink and dominate the whole cruiserweight division. Mm -hmm. I seen it with my own eyes, so I knew that if Anthony let him get past round five, you can't beat him. He's too smart. He knows too much. He's been boxing. His IQ is too big. You understand me? So if he's not damaged by the end of round five, you can't beat him. Mm -hmm. That's just because he's a great boxer. I love his mind. So, but it's like I said, it wasn't that I'm against nobody. I just like I love I love boxing. Yeah. Well, you're always honest, which is why we love getting you on, Roy. <laughs> Any plans to go back to Russia soon? Yeah, uh, I was gonna go back uh, Monday, but now I think I go back on the 14th. Okay. Well, enjoy your travels there. Thank you, my brother. Always brilliant to get you on IFL TV. Thank God you. bless, champ. All right,